That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. We're under attack. A guy, quiet approach. Oh. Night! Don't lose her! That's the last of them. Who's there? Alert. H lock structural failure. Repeat. <clears throat> or not. Come on, brothers, let's get her! Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. <clears throat> it's not that simple. Um, so like... You probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. This is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. More Eclipse. Careful now.
Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation We don't find her. Get it while I can. We might have trouble. Follow my lead. The sun can't sit. You cannot hide from our wrath. See if anything is left. Extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome <sighs> to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patty Porsche. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new a generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? Of course, Gaia, go on. 
I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, an Us would benefit from antelope and amorphologies, though camping forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. He will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we will bring the subordinate functions online and the same instant. Elizabeth. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only that I finally... You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. 
meant to interfere at dig sites and conf everything as it was meant to be. Predestined. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by- It'd be laughable. Hades is an ancient- It doesn't care about Meridian. It won't- I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. Do you really not hear how ridiculous- You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king- <sighs> You fail to grasp the point, and with- Then open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial end. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, you not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Are faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadow just these, prowl in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun. But it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. Platform. There's no way out of this ring. 
Maybe I could use its strength against it. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Canister on its hips. Cryo arrows should set it off. That canister on its belly. Looks important.
Jones. Shadows, kill her. Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself! 